Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I hope you guys understand the video that I made just yesterday, previously at least, before this one. And I hope that I could, uh, do my brother a favor by trying to be more healthy and such. You know how it is. I finally have the chance to introduce these four new themes to you guys. And I hope things would work out. I'll try to, uh, make everything work. Here's the first character. The first whatever. Swamp Girl. Real name, Sammy Holland. Height, 5 feet 6, six inches. Varied. Weight, 149 pounds. Varied. Status, anti-hero in Master of Swamps. Base, any swamp in the default Earth. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, sneaky and disgusting. She always hates being criticized. Lethality, extremely dangerous when angered. Weaknesses, bad hygiene. She's intolerant to cleaning products. Powers. She could turn all or part of her body into swamp water along with having most water-based powers. Eyes dull green, hair black and slimy. Origin. Sammy Holland was an average teen, teen who got captured by the undead Swampa who took her to the local swamp. As Sammy was struggling, the chemicals in the swamp permanently altered her DNA granting her with swamp, swamp water-based powers and a disturbing hygiene. After getting bad remarks from people, Swamp Girl attempted to drown everyone in the country. However, Sand Girl arrived and defeated Swamp Girl after a long fight. Afterwards, Swamp Girl started feeling guilty and chose to spend the rest of her life as an anti-hero, and since then, she would do anything to avoid angering Sand Girl. Costume. She dresses in casual wear, but is always covered in slime. Team Solitary with Sand Girl or others. Origin Inspiration DC's Swamp Thing and Marvel's Hydro Man. Here's the next character, just so you know Mountain Maid. Real name Lacey Jones II. Height 5 feet 6 inches to 800 feet, weight 142 pounds to 117,000 tons. Status Hero and Daughter of Mega Maid. Base Alpha Earth Mobile. Intelligence 3 Brains. Behavior Witty and dignified, she enjoys helping others. Lethality Highly deadly to most opponents. After she wins a fight, she will always be willing to clean up the mess. Weaknesses. Misogyny. She has a bad cleaning habit. Powers. She has the same powers as her mother. Eyes, bright green, hair, silverish black. Origin. One time, the Priantrum non appeared to Mega Maid and rewarded her with a child after saving a children's hospital. After her daughter was born, Mega Maid decided to name her after herself. However, Gigantica tried to capture the baby and turn her into a servant, and Mega Maid decided to leave her up to adoption in the Alpha Earth. Through the powers of Portal, the baby was transported to a town northwest of New York. Due to Portal's powers, Lacey aged faster than normal, and by the time she graduated high school, her powers were manifested. She later learned that Trident was running rampant across New York. And after fighting, Lacey had finally calmed her down. Eventually, Mega Maid decided to reunite with the newly named Mountain Maid. And since then, Mountain Maid and Mega Maid were great allies in cleaning and protecting the two Earths. Costume. She wears a similar outfit as Mega Maid. Teams. Solitary. With Mega Maid or other heroes. Original Inspiration. Housemaids. Here's the third one, which is actually a, a species. Megadon. Real name, none. Length, two miles. Weight, unrevealed. 
Status, Villain, and Ocean Predators. Base, the Seven Seas of the Alpha Earth. Intelligence, few brains. Behavior, menacing and sneaky. It'll stop at nothing to cure its hunger. Lethality, as above. It's highly unpredictable. Weaknesses, fire, stab wounds, and nuclear weapons. Powers, it has great size and strength can swim at great speeds, can eat anything edible or inedible, and usually travels in large swarms of around 80 to 100 members. It also has a long serpentine tongue used to grab and eat stuff at a great distance. Eyes, deep black, hair, none. Origin. Millions of years ago, there was a small group of prehistoric sharks that survived the Mesozoic asteroid. Over time, they evolved into reaching tremendous lengths, developing a high intellect and manifesting a long snake-like appendage for a tongue. One time, Cosmic decided to make a portal where the Megadons traveled to the default Earth. After a bit of commotion, the native hero teams teamed up to handle with the otherworldly sharks. After a while of hard struggling, Portal finally dis arrived to transport the hordes of Megadons back to the Alpha Earth. Nowadays, the Megadons would daydream about spreading their territory across other worlds. Costume, none. Teams, they normally travel in large swarms. Order of inspiration, sharks. And here's the last character. Just so you know. Dead. Real name, Sammy Bridges. Height and weight, varied. Status, villain and wailing ghost. Base, England, mobile. Intelligence, two brains. Behavior. Stubborn, selfish, and overly spoiled. She'll do anything to destroy the planet and therefore lift her curse. Lethality. As above, she's already dead. Weaknesses. She's mostly too spoiled to be trusted. Powers. She has intangibility, mass alteration, can make a deafening shriek, and possess, can possess living people and can enter the minds of others and give them nightmares and hallucinations. Eyes, black, hair, white, and flowing. Origin. Sammy Bridges was a young teen during the Victorian era that was hopelessly spoiled. One time, she made a scream so intense that she died from an unrecoverable aneurysm. Soon, Reaper arrived to take her spirit to the afterlife, but Sammy made a shriek so horrendous that she was since condemned to live on the planet until it's destroyed, and by that point she would go to the afterlife. One time, Denshrini was having some problems with the Relentless Dead, so with help from him and the Alpha Trio, they had successfully defeated the Wailing Ghost. Nowadays, Dead would always think twice before underestimating someone. Costume. She wears a white bathrobe smeared with blood. Teams, solitary, and rarely with others. Original inspiration, ghosts. Those are the four things I'll introduce. And um, I've noticed that around 72% of my viewers are male, and the rest of the equivalent is female. So any female audiences of mine just... Tell me if there's anything I should keep in mind to make you guys more tolerable of tolerant of my videos because I'd like it to be fair for both genders if that makes any sense. And if I'm plummeting for you uh, girls and such, then I apologize in the long run. You know? Just trying my best to stay healthy and such. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the month of October and such. And until next time, in transmission.